And new at four, we've uncovered another stolen vehicle case related to that big explosion that killed four people two weeks ago. You may remember the fire department spent days sifting through the rubble after an underground house was destroyed by what, by what firefighters think was a propane link. Ken's five, Sue Kalberg, has been digging for facts as well. She found a second victim whose stolen RV was recovered at the blast site. Victim who wants his identity protected for safety's sake says Chopper 5 captured images of his stolen RV here at this South Pressa blast site. I think that's my trailer. SAPD confirms his RV was found not far from the underground house. Four days after the explosion, he says SAPD called him. They called you at 920 at night and said come get it. Yes. He says not only was someone living in his trailer, but... The capper of it all is the people who were living in it actually had Christmas lights on it, according to SAPD. They were enjoying my trailer, my stolen trailer, and had it decorated. He says the insurance company took possession of the rig, which was filthy. I don't want it back. I can't rightfully sell it to someone and knowing what... Not knowing, not knowing what went on in that trailer. With regard to how his RV ended up on South Pressa, the victim has surveillance video of the vehicle being stolen from a nearby storage facility. He says police told him the driver is one of the people who died in the blast. SAPD says they're still investigating this case and two others involving stolen vehicles recovered here. Meanwhile, the fire department says Arson investigators won't make a final ruling on the cause until they get some lab results back. In South San Antonio, Sue Kalberg, Ken's 5.